October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and one thing of concern here in Utah compared to other states women are not getting screened. It's an issue certainly for doctors and people in the healthcare community. Joining us today is Dr. Brett Parkinson from the Intermountain Medical Center Breast Cancer Center. Thank you for being here with us. It's a pleasure to be here. Right off the bat, let's find out why are women in Utah not getting screened? Well, we don't know why, but we do know something that is very startling, and that is that women in Utah rank 50th for screening compliance. Um, what does the, that mean? Well, that means uh, that only 64% of Utah women who are eligible mm -hmm. for screening have had a mammogram in the last two years. Not just the last year, but the last two years. And we rank dead last in the country for compliance for screening guidelines. Now, I'm wondering then, is this because women don't have insurance? I know that there are services out there where, that can help you get breast cancer screenings. Why do you think this is? Well, we've actually looked at women with insurance, and women with insurance don't really do any better. Wow. It may be that women in Utah have larger families, and a lot of women in Utah work, and it may be that they are actually taking care of other people, like mm -hmm. members of their family, and they tend to their own needs last. Often I'll see a woman who will come in who has postponed coming in because she's had an illness of the family or she's taking care of somebody. So I think that it's mostly because they're not looking out for themselves as much as they are for others. Okay, and so give us your pitch then. I know moms do tend to put themselves last or women do in general, like you said, if they're taking care of other people, but this is so important and it doesn't take so much time. It's very important for women to be screened. You have to remember that one in eight women will ultimately develop breast cancer. And also young women develop breast cancer. About 20% of breast cancers occur in women uh, age 50 and under wow. and 40 percent of the years of life lost to breast cancer occur in the under 50 group that's surprising and it's uh, and it's uh, unsettling yeah but it's a reality okay so you're having a special event this Friday right well actually it's next Friday next Friday sorry. September 30th okay. it's going to be at the Janice Beasley heart fix and breast care center at Intermountain Medical mm -hmm. Center we are going to set up a tent. We have a keynote speaker, Sherry Dew. She's a very prominent citizen here in Utah, author, CEO of Deseret Book. She's going to be talking about her breast cancer experience, and she's going to be encouraging Utah women to get screened. If you take a 1,000 women on the street who are asymptomatic, meaning that they're feeling fine, uh -huh. four of those women will have cancer and not even uh. know it. That's why it's so important that they get in and get screened. So if people want to find out more about this event, do they go to the Intermountain Healthcare website? They or? can go to the website or they can call our public relations department, but it is 8.30, Friday, September uh, 30th, and we will be serving breakfast and there will be speeches and all sorts of fun activities for the public. Yeah, so you got to put yourselves first, at least just for one day. At least for one day, <laughs> one day a year, uh, mm -hmm. and probably uh, a few more times during yeah. the year as well. That's true, but at least for that one occasion. That one okay. day. So. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, well, thank you for inviting me. Heidi, back to you. All right, a good one.